All right. <sighs> what are we reading? Why are you so bright? What are we reading, Katie? We're reading where the red fern grows. Okay. All right. So we're reading the part where um, and I'm like, I got a tear in my eye because we're laughing so hard. We're reading the part where he goes to pick up his dogs, and these kids are being um, like uh, they're laughing at him, and uh, these kids they start like uh wanting to fight him, so they take um because he has. Dogs in his sack thing, and like a gunny sack or whatever, and, and the, the dogs' heads are sticking out, and the, they're like <laughs> laughing at him. There was freckle face, and okay. he stomped on his foot. He said, "Freckle face pulled the ear of my little girl pup. I heard her painful cry. That was too much. I hadn't worked two long hard years for my pups to have some freckle face punk pull their ears, swinging the sack from my shoulders." I walked over and set it down in the doorway. As I turned around to face the mob, I doubled up my fist and I took a Jack Dempsey stance. Freckleface said, you want to fight? He came in swinging. I reached way back in Arkansas somewhere. By the time my fist had traveled all the way down to the Cherokee Strip, there was a lot of power behind it. Smack! on the end of Freck's nose and exploded. With a loud grunt, he sat down in this dusty street, grabbing his nose and Grabbing his nose and he knocked him in the nose. In both hands. He started rocking and moaning. I saw the blood squeeze out between his fingers. Another one sailed in. Like another kid. He didn't want to fight. <laughs> he wanted to wrestle. <laughs> he wanted to wrestle. <laughs> he put my his fingers in my mouth. I crushed down. I swang, <laughs> swang as like he wanted to wrestle. He stuck his finger in my mouth. <laughs> I ground down, shaking his hand and yelling like the hoot owls were after him. He ran across the street. <laughs> Another one bored in. I aimed his eyes, but my aim was a little low. <laughs> I caught him in his Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the book being quite as funny when I read it like years ago. <laughs> oh god, you would think I had smoked something. Oh but I love reading to my daughter because she's equally as goofy as me. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here you go. <sighs> okay, so where we okay where we leave off? He caught him in the Adam's. He apple. caught him in the Adam's apple because he was trying to go for the eye. He his his aim was a little low. He got him in the Adam's apple. A sick look came over his face, bending over. Croaking like a bullfrog that had been caught by a water moccasin, he started going around in a circle. <laughs> but there were too many of them. By sheer weight and numbers, they pulled me down. I managed to twist over on my stomach and buried my face in my arms. I could feel them beating and kicking my body. All at once, the beating stopped. I heard loud cries from the gang. Turning over on my back, I was just in time to see the big marshal plant a number 12 boot in the seat of the last kid. That means he kicked him in his ass. <laughs> Who? The marshal. I just knew I was next. I wondered if he'd kick me while I was down. I lay where I was. He started towards me. I closed my eyes. Probably waiting to be kicked. I felt 
a hand as big as an anvil clamp on my shoulder. I thought, he's going to stand me up. Listen! He goes, I thought, he's going to stand me up and knock me down. <laughs> Like, stand them up just to knock them down. All right, I think that's all the funny stuff. All right, give me it. Just shut it off. Now I'll press.